Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with humility and with the heart in the Holy Spirit. Come. Sisters and brothers, um, thank you again for the love, the sacrifice in your heart, coming to Mass, joining us online. Thank you for liking Jesus today. You pala yung like Facebook, no? Like, etc. But liking is real life. So now na, pakisabi natin yung like natin. Husband and wife, magkatabi, magtingingan nga kayo ang you now online. Pakisabi mo nga yung alam mong like ko sa'yo nung una palang kitang nakita. Sige, mag magkwentuhan nga kayo. What I liked about you. O kayo magkaibigan. Sabi mo naman yung why I like you. Alam mo, I like you kasi ganito ka. O ngayon lang magkikita, baka mayroong, I like your shoes, I like your hair. Sige na, say something. This is a like moment for all of us. O mga kapwa pare, o, that's so uh, like. I like your mama me. Boy, there's so much to like. Please focus on liking, not disliking. Napakadali kasi yung mag-dislike. Thumbs down. And liking starts with the most simple things, you know? Could be the looks. Tignan mo nga si husband mo. Isa pa rin ba yan, yung looks niya? Pero like mo pa rin siya. Or maybe your life situation. Okay to. Kasama ko sa hirap at ginhawa. May mayroon siyang possibilities. Wow, my future ako. Could be like that. Or it could be because of a character. Ugali. And I think that's the bottom line. In the end, yung pong ugali ng tao that we really matter. Oh, Mrs. Sabi mo kaya sa kanya, hindi na kita like kasi love na kita. Yun. Kahit hindi na kita like, pero love pa rin kita. Then you're talking now what's really important. Naku ha, nag nagakapan si, ayan, kahit maputi na, kahit wala ng buhok ko, mahal pa rin kita. Pwede bang tumayo kayo dito? Uh, Lucy, and yan yeah, no, yan ang true love. Talagang love pa na. <laughs> so, yun po mga kapatid. Si today, uh, the Lord, I was reading the gospel, and I was, well, ang daming angulo ng gospel, but why, why do I like Jesus? Ang dami na dyan. Famous siya, magaling siya, son of God siya, etc. But when you focus on the character of Jesus in this gospel, three things become clear. I like his character. Number one, he was a man of prayer. He was busy. He was famous. But he knew how to pray. I respect people who know how to pray. Ang dami dyan, magaling magsalita, maraming connect, famous ka, mayaman ka. But the bottom line for me is, are you a man? Are you a woman of prayer? Sa akin po, yun ang pinakamalalim na karakter ng isang tao. Marunong magdasal, marunong makinig sa Diyos, marunong matakot sa Diyos. Then, you're a man of character. A woman of character. Alam po nyo, hindi mo malalaman daw talaga ang karakter ng isang tao. Mayroon nga pong kwento, father and son were walking, sabi ng anak, Dad, did you know, did you hear, that in some countries, the husband will not know who his wife is until they get married. Meron po mga ganun, no? Ang sabi ng asban, 
No, my son, not only in some countries, everywhere, the husband will not know hanggang kinasal na sila. Because the real character comes out already. He says, and brothers, he's, today the Lord tells us, imagine, busy sila. What did Jesus tell his disciples? Come, ali kayo, let's rest a while and pray. Iwanan muna natin the crowd. For a person to be able to do that, sa akin po, that's a man, a woman of character. When you can say to the world, no, my appointment now is my appointment with God. I can leave everything because I have to connect with my God. Be men and women of prayer. Sisters and brothers, you know, if a person knows how to pray, hindi po siya nagiging mayabang. Hindi po siya mababaw. Hindi po siya masungit at nananakit. Because mayroon siyang Diyos who is bigger than him, than her. Jesus was a man of prayer. Number two, Jesus had a compassionate heart. The gospel says, His heart was moved with pity because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Mark chapter 6, 34. Hindi lang po magaling, hindi lang po kung ano-ano, pero ang tao pong marunong maawa sa kapwa-tao. It's a man, a woman with character. Napakadali po kasing sabi, ay wala, dapat wala yan. Hindi, dapat, di kaawaan yan. It's so easy to rationalize and say, para hindi tayo ma-disturb. But still, the challenge for all of us is to go the extra mile. Yung extra mile po, yung hindi na dapat, pero nandiyan pa, di, o di sige. And to give that extra smile. Ang hirap nang gumiti, pero ngingiti ka pa rin. Then you have compassion. Sisters and brothers, remember, I don't know who said it, marami akong nakalimutan na kasi lumaki kami sa farm, kaya hindi ko maalala. But somebody said, people don't care how much you know as long as they know how much you care. I keep telling, stop being impressive. Mas maganda po yung expressive. Ang buong buhay mo, nagpa-impress ka lang ng nagpa-impress. Nabilib mga tao sa'yo, mayaman ka, sikat ka, matalino ka, etc. But were you expressive of saying to people, hey, I care for you. Hey, you're doing good. Like right now. Pakisabi mga uli sa katabi mo, you know, I like you. I like your... Come on, express your like once more. I like you when you smile. I like you when you sleep. <laughs> Be expressive. Focus on being expressive. Not so much on being impressive. And thank you for the gems. Many of you here are gems. You make, you are God encounter makers. You're a God encounter medium. Ang problema kasi marami sa atin when people encounter us, they only encounter us. It stops with us. Hindi ho. Let every encounter point to God. Whether it's a difficult encounter, may sakit man, whatever, we can always point to God. O bless na bless kayo, pasado ka sa board, may promotion ka. Let it be an encounter always to God. Any opportunity, we must point to God. I remember a story somewhere, a oh, long time ago, about this pianist, concert pianist, who did very, very good. And he was blind, I heard. And after the last note, the whole crowd stood up, clapping, 
And he stood up and said, no, 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 not me, not me, but from there, from there, from there. This is what we should all be doing. Let's not boast. Let's only boast for the Lord. And finally, Jesus was a man with a mission. He had a constant message. His mission was to spread the good news that God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Claro po ang message niya. That was the constant message of the Lord. He had a mission for someone greater than Himself. I like to ask you a question, mga kapatid. All of us should ask this question. What have you done for God? Ano nang nagawa mo for the Lord? Marami ka nagawa para sa sarili mo. Yeah, but what have you done for the Lord? What have you shared for the Lord? You have time, talents, and treasures. Hoarding na, gabundok na. But you have not really shared. Time is short. Life is short. Sana naman, masabi natin, Lord, I spent some time also for you, with you. And number three, what have you sacrificed for the Lord? These are questions we have to continue to ask, especially when we see the Lord Jesus, who had a mission. Ang focus niya, mission. How about you and us? Focus natin, commission. Buong buhay natin, commission. Or, buong buhay mo, mga intermission, mga luho, mga bisyo mo. It's all about you. Sisters and brothers, you and I have a mission. If you do a mission for someone greater than you, your life is meaningful. Mahirap, but meaningful. And finally, I like to say, do you like Jesus? Maybe some of us say, no, I don't like Jesus. I even love Jesus. Okay. If you like Jesus, then be like Jesus. Kung sinasabi mong gustong gusto mo si Lord, be like Him. Be a man with prayer. Be a man with compassion. Be a man with a mission. The biggest gratitude we can give to the Lord is to imitate Him and be like Him. And speaking of who, who, who showed me who Jesus was, I can only go back to my parents. My parents were simple people, but they were people who knew how to pray. The people who were very compassionate, especially to the poor. And they always reminded us about our mission. So, mga kapatid, I, I would like to say this on a personal note. The kindest, the kindest people I have met in this lifetime were my parents. They were very kind. Not to boast, but they were just kind. Sana po, mga magulang na nakikinig, mga magiging future ng mga magulang, sana mga anak niyo masabi nila, mga pinakamabait, the kindest people were my parents. I honor them. Many times po, you know, when we were growing up, life was hard. My mother was a public school teacher in a little town called Bani, Pangasinan. My father was a lawyer, but he was a good lawyer. So, kung may nananalo sa kaso niya, pwede na bigyan siya ng manok, kambing, ganon. He, he, he was just serving the people. And I remember many times, Papa and Mama telling us, Siguro kasi they didn't know how to help us in the future. They didn't have the resources. They didn't have the connections. But they kept telling us, Oh, Jerry, um, try your best. Huh? 
Palagi po yan, tatlo yan. Best effort, ha? I see, we don't have the money and all that, but we can help you in education. Number one, they always told us, mag-aral kayo ng mabuti. Agadal kayo nga nalaing, ha? Manara kayong gusto. Number two, they kept telling us, agsing-sing pat kayo. Be good. Just be good. Paulit-ulit po yun. And number three, Papa and Mama always told us, aglualo kayo, you pray, just pray. They were Jesus to me. They didn't give me material things, but they gave me hope. They gave me the value of prayer, the value of being good, and the value of having a mission to live meaningful lives. Let's remember our parents, sisters, and brothers today. And let's all tell the Lord today, Yes, Lord, I like you, Lord. Help me to become like you more and more. Sana po kami rin kahit papano may padama namin kung sino si Jesus by our prayer life, by our kindness, and by our mission. Bow your head and I ask you now, do you like Jesus? Yes, I like Jesus. Do you really like Jesus? Yes, I really like Jesus. Do you love Jesus? Yes, I love you, Lord Jesus. And help me to be more like you. Today we declare, as for me and for my house, we will serve the Lord. From the book of Joshua. The world will never know. The world many times will never appreciate the value of prayer, the value of being kind, the value of doing your mission. But the world no is not your God. God knows, and that is enough. Today, we come before the Lord again and say, Lord, reporting for, G for duty. Mama Mary, teach us not only to like Jesus, but to be like Jesus in our own little way. Amen and amen.